Hello there. Welcome back everybody to another NASCAR Heat Free Career Mode video. Today it is the last round of the regular season. Uh, well, not the last round of the regular season, the last road course of the regular season. As we head to the longest road course around at Road America. So let's get into it. And, reputation-wise, um, everything is sort of a status quo, really. Uh, we still haven't made any more rivals. Still got Christopher Bell, Spencer Gallagher and Jeremy Clements as rivals. Uh, haven't made any more friends since uh, the last one as well. But, uh, you know, there's time. I mean, Road America, we should gain a lot more friends and a lot more of, uh, of other people as well. But we'll see what, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm hopeful for good things. Take a look at the Xfinity standing, shall we? Still, championship leader, 14 victories on the season, 1,106 points. Uh, 250 ahead of Cole Custer in second, then uh, Wanker Bell in uh, third, Elliot Sadler fourth, Justin Allgaier, Tyler Reddick, Ryan Priest, Daniel Hemrick, who needs to win to get into the chase, uh, is eighth. Brandon Jones, Matt Tift, Ross Chastain and Austin Sindrick round out the top 12 in points. Ryan Truex still 15th, so... It is a win or get in scenario for Daniel Hemrick. But he is four points behind Ryan Priest. No, he's not. I did my maths wrong. He's 16 points behind Ryan Priest. I miss uh, I miss saw a number there. He's actually 17 behind. We're 16 behind Priest, but he's got to get 17 to get in. Complicated, I know. We gotta do so about Christopher Bell, man. I think if we could have Hemrick and then a few other guys win, I think that'll, uh, that'll do it. So without further ado, let's go to Road America, folks. It's the Johnsonville 180 around the longest road course in America. So uh, looking forward to this one. It's one of my personal favourites. Hope it turns into one of yours. Let's do this, folks. Yeah, right then. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this should be good. Stephen liked he failed tech. He's gone to the back. Daniel Hemrick, what a weekend for him. He's the pole sitter. We're not. Uh, we are going to be coming in from deep. We did not have a good qualifying at all. That was 22nd on the grid. The green is in the air. Let's go, folks. And the one thing you will notice about Road America straight away, there are lots of long, long straights. Two, the first section is two long, long straights as we get diving right up. Oh, look, it's Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. Get out of the way, mofo. Oh, onto the grass already. That's not going to do us any favours. Here comes Jeremy Clements. He wants some more. But he's got to sit his ass back there as we dive it down the inside of John Hunter Dubchak and Spencer Gallagher. Already up to P13. Get in there, my son. Get in there, my son. Look good. Now this corner coming up uh, here, turn three. It is a tricky, tricky corner to break for, and as you can see there, you'll get a lot of cars uh, bunged up as well. You come over the crest, and it's the slowest corner on the uh, circuit as well, which. Uh, doesn't help matters. I know the one thing I need to do, and I need to get it done right now. If we just move that out of the way, and put that out of the way. By the way, do you like our mouse mat? Class uh, 42. Sorry, 52. If I just move you there, move you there, if I flip you up, that's my laptop I just flipped up as well, as we come through the carousel. Now, <laughs> down to the king. In an Indy car, this is flat out, and there have been some nasty accidents here at the kink, but in an NASCAR, 130 is probably about the motion get through the kink as we head through the little sweeper here, now down to Canada Corner. Another slow corner, Christopher Bell right in front of us. You know what's going to happen when I get hold of Christopher Bell, don't you? Can you all see it coming? Christopher Bell is going to get dumped. <coughs> and dumped properly. Down the field you go, Christopher. 
Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Whoa! Look at John Hunter Niebercheck uh, come flying up our inside. Outside, even. Anyone would think he got wings on him. Running a little wide in turn one. You can run it a little wide in turn one. No one uh, says any different uh, to that. As we come down the back straight. Underneath the Sargano Bridge, Christopher Bell right in front of us. Christopher Bell get back in front of us or something now. He must have done. We've, uh, we have utterly, utterly, there you go. We just dumped Christopher Bell. And we're going to finish the stage in P11. Right then, so we got some pits and we go all the way down to 34th on the grid. So we're going to have to come in from properly, properly deep here. Properly, properly deep as we get stage 2 off and underway. And we're going to have to make some grounds. We're going to have to make some grounds up proper. And we've only got two laps in this stage. Send it into turn one. Up the inside of Tyler Reddick. What's Tyler doing all the way back there? Look, everyone! It's Tyler! Um, <laughs> NXT fans will get that reference. WWE fans will also get that reference. We're already P15. We bunted uh, Jeremy Clements out of the way as Alex LeBay sees the champion, puts us in the wall. Here comes Jeremy. Now, what are you going to do, Jeremy? You're going to push me off the track? You're going to be an ape. You're going to be an ape? Nah, sit your ass back there. You better sit back there. Yeah! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Alex LeBay sees the champion, lights it up. Gives it the old uh, Fast and Furious on the uh, exit of Turn 5. Now through Turn 6 under the uh, Chevrolet Bridge. Through Turn 7 into the Hurry Downs. Hurry downs because you hurry down the hill. Oh, Christopher Bell. Hi, Christopher. There's the grass over there. I'd like you to introduce you to it. <laughs> that was good. Under the speed. Oh, Alex the base. He's the champion. Gives us a shot in the arse. As we go around the carousel. And then up to the kink. Honestly, I've done the kink in an open wheel car and it's scary. In a NASCAR, it's even worse. And the NASCAR is more protected through the kettle bottoms. And down to Canada Corner. Once you get through Canada Corner, Thunder Valley is uh, literally right there. Here's Thunder Valley. I don't know why they call it Thunder Valley. Under the uh, Bill Mitchell... Wait, the Bill Mitchell Bridge used to be. It's now the Bill Mitchell Bend. And then Turn 14, the last corner. And then up this hill. Look at that elevation change, folks. You see elevation change like that at Kota going from the uh, last corner to the first corner. That is properly uphill. Want to go in the stage? We pull John Hunter Ibercheck. Will we got this inside? Yes, we will in turn one. Thank you very much. He gives us something to remember us by on the. Uh, Exit of the corner. We go into yeah. Apparently that little kink is turn two. This is turn three. What the fuck? Exactly. There's no corner there. As we go down the moraine sweep to turn five. Yeah. Apparently this little kink here that we're just about to go through. That's turn four. And everyone's looking at this thinking, go what? Yeah. Apparently that's turn four. Here's turn five on the curb on the outside. Oh, I get it slowed down plenty enough. Ryan Truex on our inside. We are in the playoff points. So that's uh, good to know. As we see Matt Tift and Brandon Jones fighting in front of us. Through turn six. Now into turn seven. Down into the hurry downs. 
Truex. Uh, me and Truex have some close court race when we finally get rid of him. Up the inside of Tift, up the inside of Jones. There's Cold Custer in front of us. We'll push Jones out of the way. Thank you very much. Into the carousel. A little grass on the inside. We go use Cold Custer to try and make the corner. And in front of us is Austin Sindrick with uh, Justin Olgaier. So we haven't passed. Uh... Oh, and they checked up for the. Oh, he really checked up for the king. Austin Sindrick is big wuss. Jesus Christ. Austin Sindrick, you big wuss. Get on with it. Through Canada Corner, coming up to Thunder Valley. And up the Bill Mitchell turn. The car wants to get a little loose on the exit, no problem. Up turn 14, will we get Old Guy as well? Oh, it's going to be a drag race team. Me and Old Guy up to the start finish straight. We're going to get him. Finish the stage P4 from P34. That's a road courser for you. So it's what, Henrik from Sadler from Reed and then uh, myself. That's how it is done, Lynjum. That's how it's done properly. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Let's get this last stage underway. Six laps. Or is it seven? It's six. I think that means we can't make our fuel. Someone's smoking on pit road. Not allowed to smoke on pit road as we dive down the inside of Salda. Three wide into the first corner. We'll take Sadler with us. That'll put Ryan Reed into the lead. Oh, Sindrick. Oh, eat the proverbial Austin Sindrick. No caution. Famous last words. <laughs> Dear me. Famous last words. No caution. We need to do something here. We'll fill her up. We'll take the lead. Fill her up, folks. We'll take the lead of the race. And we're off again. So we should all make it now. Three to go. Daniel Hembrick in fourth. Poor Austin Sindrick, man. He gets called a wuss, then whacks me in the arse and uh, loses it. That's us up, uh, that's Ryan Reed up our inside, he's through to the lead, here comes Daniel Henrik side by side in through turn two, yeah, and then into turn three. We'll give Henrik plenty of room, respect the teammate, see if we can both pull uh, Ryan Reed here. Oh sorry, that's not who it is, that's Ryan Reed! See if we can do so about him, uh, <coughs> try and get him out of the way as quickly as possible. It would be ideal. Whether it happens or not, we don't know. Oh, we got a bit deep into turn five, and Henrik through to the lead. Daniel, he's probably second. Yeah, sort that out. <laughs> he's, he's leading the race. As we're going to the Chevy Bridge into turn six. Well, that was, uh, that was unfortunate. So now Henrik leads. Shall we be the perfect teammate here and let Daniel Henrik win this race? I think we should, personally. We come through uh, the carousel. I think we should do that, you know. Make it, uh, make it perfect. Now through the kink. You see there, look. If you get the kink right, it's perfect. If you don't, it's not. We're going to back away from Henrik here. I think, I think you know, we've got that much uh, an advantage over Ryan Reed. I think we can afford to let Henrik win. As long as Henrik's AI decides he doesn't want to uh, fuck up. If he wants to fuck up, hey, go ahead. All power to you. I love it when a good AI fucks up. So we've got two to go. Two to go as we head up uh, the hill. 
down to turn one. There you go. We're pulling him, but uh, easy, we're easing off here. You, you know the strategy. You know the strategy, folks. We're going to let Daniel Hemrick win his race here so he can get into the championship. It'll uh, bump Ryan Priest out, I think. Which, uh, which is good. Because Ryan Priest doesn't, uh, doesn't really need to win a race, does he? Ryan Priest has won enough. In fact, Ryan Priest has won plenty. As we come through the Moraine sweep and now down to turn five, get it nicely slowed up before we go under the Chevrolet bridge and into the Chev sorry, the Corvette bridge into the Corvette corner. Turn six. And then it'll be into turn seven. Nicely done. Now down the hurry downs, to turn eight. Turn nine is the carousel. You see now that we're taking it easy, we're making some of these corners. Ryan Reed's only a second behind us, we're half a second behind Hemrick. Everyone can make it on fuel, that's uh, not an issue. It's whether everyone can make it around the lap in one piece. That's a different matter. As we get all oh, nearly right into the back of uh, Hemrick through the kink. That would not have been the way to end the race. Let me tell you. Through the kettle bombs now into Canada Corner. And when you get through Canada Corner, through Thunder Valley. And then the Bill Mitchell Corner. Oh, I saw Hemrick uh, slide a little then. He wants to get a move on through turn 14. And now he's going to have the hill to himself. One to go at the hill, presented by Credit One Bank. And you've got Austin Sindrick to thank for this, Hemrick. I think without Sindrick, you would have been uh, you would have been a dead donkey. As we uh, ease off the throttle, get it slowed down nicely into turn one. Somebody, one of the cats has uh, had an accident in the bathroom. As we go into tur through turn two into turn three. Look at this, Ryan Reed right on our tail. We've got enough gap to uh, Brandon Jones, I don't think he'll be uh, too much of an issue. If we can uh, work in tandem here, Mr. Hemrick, you can, uh, you can have yourself this victory. Come into turn five. Ooh. Why? That's not Ryan Reed, that's Cole Custer. Where the hell did Ryan Reed go? Cole Custer's uh, appeared out of nowhere. Brandon Jones is right behind him now as well. Here comes Cole Custer. Cole Custer wants second place, he's not going to get it. Hemrick's got a nice advantage now as we go into turn eight. Once through turn eight, get the car turned and went to the carousel. I should think Hemrick's got this now. We're going to come home for a Richard Childress 1 2 here. Just the way we drew it up. Just the way, uh huh, uh huh, we like it. Uh huh, uh huh. As we go through the kink for the final time. Look at that. Nice speed through the kink. We've uh, gapped Custer by half a second now. As we back off a bit from Daniel Hembrick, we want to, don't want to get too close into Canada Corner so that... Uh, whoa! Cole Custer with the move from about five years back! Get out of here! I want second... I have earned second place. Go away! Screw you! I'll give you the boot! Did you see how far he came back? He must have come back from a distance, but up the hill. Daniel Hemrick's going to race his way into the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to come home for a second place. That's what you call a teammate doing the job for another teammate. That's how you get your respect there, folks. Very nice. Let's go to the Exalta race recap, shall we? Besides, 22nd to 2nd, we'll take that all day, every day. There's the pass for 16th place. There's a pass for 16th place. 
Elliot Sadler won stage one because somebody couldn't keep it on the island. Christopher Bell. Uh, there's a pass for 15th place. Yep, that's it. Hey, Jeremy. How you doing, mate? Oh dear, Hemrick won stage two, so that's a big time playoff points for Daniel Hemrick. And look at that, three wide, Sindrick and Sadler get into it. Oh, it was Sindrick! Oh, it's Sindrick! Oh! I don't look any better, does it really? There's a... Drop to second, side by side with Hemrick. And once we get Ryan Reed out of the way, in fact, we drop down to third, past uh, Ryan Reed as well. There's a pass for second. As soon as we get up to Reed, it should tell us we uh, pass for Reed for the lead. Reed for the lead. Christopher Bell and Alex LeBay see the champion gets into it. Look at that dirty driver. He has a go at me for punting him. What about him? Rick. Drop back to third after that absolute dive bomb from Cole Custer into the Canada corner. And then we pass him back for second. And Daniel Hemrick will win the race at Road America. And take a stage victory as well. Elliot Sadler with the other one. Done the job there. 46 grand, not bad. Should get another 100,000 off this race easy. Especially with all that merch. Yeah, I think we could afford that. So, Christopher... Yeah, so that wanker said the fastest lap. Daniel Hemrick led the most laps, so deserved his victory today, folks. We were the car on the move. And Tyler Reddick, 25th to 39th. Ouch. Let's head to the shop. Yeah. We'll take that, I think. Not a bad result. 500,000 fans. Alex Bay, careful. When you run into me like that, it makes you think you don't like me very much. Yeah, I'm sorry. Although you should be having a word with Christopher Bell for crying out loud. It's Darlington week. Message from my age. Yeah, okay, whatever. We've sorted, uh, we've sorted them out. And we sorted them out as well. Ganassi are going to offer us an Xfinity contract. Might be interesting. Race with uh, John Hunter Vibacek. But there's the contract at the moment. Oh, dirt semi finals. That should be uh, most interesting. Not. Get this, uh, get this car set up for uh, Draben, and then get the one for the Jefferson Road Course all uh, sorted up with my boys. Yep, please start that work, and then we'll get the truck ready. Where's the truck race this week? I think it's Michigan. Yeah, it's Michigan. See, I knew that. I was just testing you all. Let's get my all-star team of uh, girls on this. I keep the the 15 girl, Melissa. I keep her around so that... Uh, you know, we got an all-rounder, so to speak. If I fancy... Uh, putting her on the car 
Oh, is that the trap? Is that the yeah? That's for Bristol next week. Good. Good. It's very nice. Looking, uh, it's looking good in that department. So I suppose we should go uh, get ready for the dirty moment. Eat the uh, uh, forty at Draven. So we'll um. There's the uh, Xfinity standings. So Daniel Hemrick is now in. There you go. And he's fourth in there. So look what a win does for you. So it's Ryan Priest on the outside looking in now. Tyler Reddick on the bubble. I would say Christopher Bell's safe, but he's not really safe. Ideally, with um, Darlington, Indian Vegas, we want somebody to win. Somebody else to win. So we can basically put those four out of the championship. Or we will accept Tyler Reddick and Justin Olga winning and then someone putting Justin uh, Chris Bell out. But that's going to wrap it up uh, for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy that. Leave a like if you did. It helps me out. Subscribe for daily F1 2018 and NASCAR Heat Free Career Mode videos. And until next time, we will see you all in the next video.